In our age of oversharing and instant gratification, where every thought bubbles up on social media and every feeling gets tweeted to the world, there's something refreshingly potent about Stoicism's emphasis on quiet strength and mindful discretion. It's not about becoming a close book. It's about cultivating a discerning inner critic, choosing what deserves the spotlight and what thrives best in the gentle shade of privacy. So, let's delve into seven things Stoicism urges us to keep privately tucked away, not out of fear or shame, but for the sake of inner peace and genuine self-mastery. 1. Your inner turmoil. We've all been there. Those moments when anxieties bubble and churn within us, doubt whispers in our ears, and fears cast long shadows across our minds. This inner turmoil, this dance of demons in the dimly lit corners of our being, is a universal human experience. Yet how we choose to engage with it, how we navigate this emotional landscape, can make all the difference. The siren song of sharing our turmoil is undeniable. Seeking validation, a listening ear, a chorus of Me Too's, can offer temporary solace. But as the Stoic philosopher Seneca wisely observed, sharing misfortune relieves its burden, but adds to its weight. By pouring our anxieties into the echo chamber of others, we risk inviting unsolicited opinions, judgments that cloud our internal compass and drown out the whispers of our own wisdom. Stoicism, that ancient philosophy championed by emperors and thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, offers a different path. It proposes that inner strength is forged not in the echoing halls of external validation, but in the crucible of self-examination, in the quiet, deliberate act of understanding and confronting our own turmoil. Imagine your inner world as a stormy sea. The waves rage. Anxieties toss us about, doubts gnaw at our hull, and the siren song of external validation beckons us towards dangerous shallows. Stoicism empowers us to become captains of this tempestuous ocean, not by fleeing to safer shores, but by wielding the anchors of reason, the sails of self-awareness, and the compass of our own values. The chief task in life is simply this, to identify in separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? Not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself to the choices that are my own, declared Epictetus. Introspection becomes our lighthouse, guiding us through the storms of the mind, through journaling, meditation, or simply taking moments of quiet reflection, we train our gaze inward, identifying the source of our anxieties, examining the stories we tell ourselves, and unearthing the values that truly matter. Stoic exercises for inner mastery. Morning meditations. Dedicate a few minutes each morning to quiet contemplation. Breathe deeply, observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment, and ask yourself, what is within my control today? This simple act of awareness anchors you in the present and sets the stage for a stoic day. Journaling for clarity. When turmoil simmers within, pen it down. By putting your anxieties on paper, you externalize them, making them easier to analyze and manage. Ask yourself, what is the worst case scenario? What is the best case scenario? What value can I draw from this experience? This process transforms fear into perspective and fosters resilience. Negative visualization. As counterintuitive as it may sound, Stoics practiced imagining negative outcomes. This mental exercise not only strengthens your capacity to face adversity, but also reminds you of what truly matters. Remember, Stoicism isn't about becoming emotionless robots. It's about acknowledging your emotions, understanding their source, and choosing how you respond. It's about taking responsibility for your inner world, cultivating resilience in the face of adversity, and living with purpose and integrity, even when the seas rage within. Start small. Commit to one stoic practice today. Perhaps a morning meditation, a journaling session, or simply a conscious effort to identify and challenge your rational thoughts. Share your experiences in the comments below and let's build a community of stoic warriors, 
navigating the storms of our inner seas together. Remember, you are not alone in this dance with your demons. You have the power to weather any storm, to find peace within the chaos, and to emerge stronger, wiser, and more self-aware. Embrace the turmoil, for it is through the challenges we face that we forge our truest selves. So raise your sails, Captain, and navigate your inner seas with the wisdom of Stoicism. Let the storms come, for they too shall pass, revealing a vast horizon of potential and a spirit tempered by the fires of self-mastery. The calm awaits. Go forth and claim it. 2. Your Charitable Deeds In the cacophony of our hyper-connected world, where every act seems destined for the digital applause machine, Stoicism offers a refreshing pause. It whispers, not trumpets, reminding us that the truest nobility of giving lies not in the echoing cheers of others, but in the quiet symphony that plays within the chambers of our hearts. There is no nobler occupation than helping other people, Seneca, the Roman Stoic philosopher, once declared. But the key, he reminds us, lies in the intention. When we give with the expectation of a front row seat in the gallery of praise, the seed of true virtue withers before it can bloom. Genuine compassion, the bedrock of stoic giving, finds its reward not in the validation of others, but in the very act itself. Think of it like the gentle, rhythmic patter of rain nourishing the earth. It doesn't seek recognition, doesn't announce its arrival with thunderous booms. It simply fulfills its purpose, enriching the soil, nurturing life, creating a world where roots take hold and flowers unfurl. In the same way, let your acts of kindness whisper their way into the fertile ground of anonymity. A cup of coffee bought for a shivering stranger on a cold morning. A book anonymously left on a library shelf, waiting to be discovered by a curious mind. A helping hand extended to a neighbor grappling with a heavy package. These are the whispers that resonate deeply, not just in the recipient's life, but in your own. Remember, the Stoics weren't about erasing ourselves, but about refining our motivations. It's not about becoming a hooded vigilant of good deeds, but about aligning our actions with our values. Ask yourself, what drives your desire to give? Is it the fleeting warmth of external validation or the enduring glow of internal virtue? I recall a time when I stumbled upon a handwritten note tucked beneath a park bench. It simply read, you are stronger than you think. Such a small gesture, yet it carried within it a universe of encouragement. The anonymous author might never know the impact of their words, but the ripple effect of their kindness continues to echo in my life. Here are some ways to cultivate the art of stoic giving. Random Acts of Kindness Challenge yourself to perform one small act of kindness each day, without any expectation of recognition. Leave a positive comment on someone's online post, donate to a cause you believe in anonymously, or offer a helping hand to someone in need. The Gratitude Journal Take a few minutes each day to reflect on the acts of kindness you witness or experience. This simple practice can shift your focus from what you lack to the abundance of generosity that surrounds you, inspiring you to pay it forward. Meditation on Generosity Close your eyes and visualize yourself performing an act of kindness. See the recipient's face light up. Feel the warmth of your own compassion. This silent act of giving can leave a lasting imprint on your soul. Today, commit to one small act of stoic giving. Let it be a whispered note of kindness, a quiet bloom of generosity in the garden of your own being. Share your experiences in the comments below and let us remind each other that the truest applause comes from within, the echoing symphony of a heart filled with the joy of giving. Remember, the world doesn't need more fanfare, it needs more whispers. Start whispering yours today. 3. Your personal struggles. Life, dear friend, is a glorious mess. We soar on victories, stumble through losses, and dance a chaotic tango with triumph and tribulations. Yet, in this whirlwind of experience, a powerful voice whispers from the annals of time. It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it. This, the essence of Stoicism, offers a balm for the stings of struggle and a lantern for navigating the darkest nights. We've all been there, haven't we? 
The missed opportunity, the public blunder, the relationship gone awry. These are not shameful secrets to be locked away in social media purgatory, but lessons etched onto the canvas of our being. As Seneca, the Roman Stoic philosopher, reminds us, a ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Sharing every misstep on every platform might garner sympathy, but it also risks amplifying the sting of defeat and inviting unsolicited judgment. Instead, Stoicism urges us to turn inward, to embrace the crucible of struggle as a forge for our character. See your challenges, not as fodder for public consumption, but as stepping stones on your path to mastery. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic, echoed this sentiment when he wrote, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Every obstacle, every disappointment, is a chance to hone your resilience, redefine your priorities, and emerge stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. Imagine a sculptor, chisel in hand, meticulously shaping a block of raw stone. Each chip, each crack, isn't a failure, but a deliberate step towards revealing the masterpiece within. So too, with your struggles. The missed promotion becomes an opportunity to hone your skills, the relationship gone awry a chance to reevaluate your needs. View each challenge as a lesson whispered by fate, a nudge towards a more authentic, empowered you. Here are some practices to help you internalize your struggles and transform them into fuel for growth. Journaling for mastery. Every night, record your challenges, not with self-flagellation, but with curiosity. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I use this to become a better version of myself? The obstacle is the way. When faced with a hurdle, reframe it as an opportunity. Can you approach this problem from a different angle? Can you learn a new skill to overcome it? Meditations on mentors. Read the words of Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Their wisdom, born from the fires of their own struggles, can offer solace and guidance on your path. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles. Every great achiever, every resilient soul, has stumbled and fallen. What sets them apart is their ability to rise, dust themselves off, and learn from the fall. So, dear friend, let the stoic spirit guide you. Internalize your struggles, learn from them, and rise again, a little stronger, a little wiser, and always truly your own. Today, I challenge you to commit to one small act of stoicism. Perhaps it's facing a fear without resorting to social media pronouncements or journaling honestly about a challenge without judgment. Share your experiences in the comments below. Let's create a community of resilience and growth, reminding each other that the path to mastery is paved not with perfection, but with the grace of learning from our struggles. Let the journey begin, fueled by the embers of your triumphs and the wisdom of your stumbles. Remember, it's not the falls that define us, but the rise that follows. 4. Your family matters. Imagine your family as a magnificent tapestry, woven with threads of laughter, stories, and shared tears. It's a vibrant work of art, intricate and intimate, meant to be admired within the warmth of your private walls. Yet, in today's hyper-connected world, the temptation to parade this tapestry on social media, for strangers to critique and paint over, is ever-present. But the Stoics, those ancient masters of emotional resilience, would advise against such public exposure. For, as Epictetus wisely said, our family is primarily our parents, our secondary ties are brothers, sisters, children, wife, husband, friends. He understood that family matters deeply, and its challenges deserve the quiet dignity of internal resolution, not the messy spectacle of online forums. Sharing every squabble, every hurt, every disagreement under the harsh glare of public scrutiny does little to mend the delicate threads of family bonds. It's like throwing open the doors of your haven to a storm, inviting judgment and negativity to wreak havoc on your carefully woven tapestry. Instead, the Stoics offer a different path, one paved with respect, open dialogue, and the courage to face conflict within the safe haven of your family unit. 
They remind us that communication is key. Seneca, the influential Roman statesman and Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of clear and honest communication. Speak your mind freely, but not brutally, he advised. By practicing active listening and respectful communication, we can bridge the gaps within our families, fostering understanding and empathy. Disagreements are inevitable. Just as threads in a tapestry run in different directions, so too will family members hold differing opinions. Marcus Aurelius, Roman emperor and Stoic practitioner, recognized this, stating, live in harmony with the universe. This harmony is not obtained by forcing things to be as you would have them be, but by accepting the way things are and fitting yourself to them. Disagreements are natural, but our response to them can choose harmony or discord. Focus on what you can control, your own reactions, your own words, your own actions. These are the bricks you can use to build a stronger family foundation. As Epictetus said, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one thing. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after we accept this that we can begin to find peace. Chasing after external validation, or seeking to control others in the family will only lead to frustration. So, let your love be a fortress, its walls strong enough to weather any storm of misunderstanding or conflict. Let its windows be open only to those who truly belong, who understand the delicate nature of your tapestry, and who offer threads of support and understanding, not judgment and critique. Here are some practical steps you can take to infuse your family life with stoic principles. Hold family meetings. Create a space for open and honest communication, where everyone feels safe to share their thoughts and feelings. Practice active listening and avoid interrupting or criticizing. Practice gratitude. Expressing appreciation for each other, even during challenging times, can strengthen bonds and foster a sense of mutual respect. Focus on solutions, not blame. When faced with conflict, shift the conversation from assigning blame to finding solutions. Work together to overcome challenges and build a stronger foundation for your family. Remember, stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or pretending everything is perfect. It's about acknowledging the challenges that come with family life, choosing how you react to them, and building a haven of resilience within your own walls. Take one small step today towards a more stoic family life. Practice active listening during dinner. Express gratitude to a loved one or initiate a calm conversation about a lingering disagreement. Every act of respect, every thread of understanding, every brick of solution-oriented communication strengthens the tapestry of your family, creating a sanctuary where you can truly thrive. Let's all commit to building families that are fortresses of love, strong and resilient against the storms of life. Share your own experiences of putting stoicism into practice in your family in the comments below. Together, we can weave a world where families matter, not as public spectacles, but as sacred tapestries woven with the threads of respect, understanding, and love. 5. Your Material Possessions We live in a world where the sparkle of a new car, the sleekness of the latest phone, and the curated perfection of Instagram feeds can easily pull us into a materialistic whirlpool. We chase, we acquire, we flaunt, Yet, does it truly fill the void within? The ancient Stoics, wise observers of human nature, would offer a resounding no. Wealth consists not in the abundance of worldly goods, but in the limited desires, pondered Seneca, reminding us that true riches lie not in external possessions, but in the internal control over our wants. Like a sculptor carefully chiseling away the excess, the Stoics urge us to strip away the desire for superfluous things and instead focus on carving out a life rich in meaning and virtue. Think of Marie Kondo's life-changing KonMari method, not as a mere decluttering technique, but as a Stoic exercise in letting go. Each item discarded is a release from the burden of wanting, a conscious choice to value experiences over things. Just as Epictetus declared, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. We must learn to appreciate what we have, use it with purpose, 
and find joy in the tapestry of everyday experiences. But this isn't about asceticism or living a Spartan life devoid of all comforts. The Stoics embraced beauty and enjoyed what they had, but never let their happiness hinge on the whims of possessions. Remember the Roman Emperor, Marcus Aurelius, who slept on a simple straw mat and wore plain clothing, yet ruled with wisdom and compassion. His wealth lay not in material possessions, but in the richness of his character and the depth of his connection to the greater good. So, how can we apply these timeless Stoic principles in our modern lives? Here are some practical steps. Gratitude Ritual Start your day by listing three things you're grateful for, focusing on experiences, relationships, and even simple joys like morning sunlight or a cup of coffee. This shifts your mindset from wanting to appreciating. Social Media Audit Unfollow accounts that trigger materialistic envy, and instead, curate your feed with inspiring individuals and stories that enrich your spirit. Experiences over things. Choose to invest in experiences, whether it's a weekend camping trip, a cooking class with friends, or volunteering for a cause close to your heart. Memories last a lifetime, while gadgets gather dust. Acts of kindness. Sharing what you have, be it time, skills, or resources, brings far more joy than any acquired possession. Practice everyday generosity and notice how it enriches your soul. Remember, the journey towards a life less defined by possessions is a continuous one. There will be stumbles, moments of envy, and urges to acquire, but with each conscious choice you make, you chip away at the desire for excess and sculpt a life rich in what truly matters. Meaningful experiences, strong connections, and the unwavering strength of your own character. Today, commit to one small act of stoicism. Perhaps it's resisting the urge to impulse buy, sharing a meal with a friend in need, or simply taking a moment to appreciate the beauty of a sunset. Let this be your first step on a path towards true riches, the kind that shines from within and illuminates your life with unwavering inner strength. Share your experiences, your struggles, and your triumphs in the comments below. Together, let's build a community that values character over possessions, experiences over things, and finds true happiness in the richness of being, not of having. Remember, the greatest treasure you possess is not found in a store, but within the depths of your own being. Start digging today and discover the true riches that await. 6. Your Spiritual Experiences Have you ever stood awestruck beneath a star-studded sky, feeling a hush descend upon your soul, or perhaps experienced a fleeting moment of perfect peace amidst the chaos of life, a whisper of the divine brushing against your spirit? These profound moments of connection, these echoes of something greater than ourselves, are like delicate wildflowers. Their exquisite beauty withers under the harsh glare of public scrutiny. Sharing them, while tempting, can unwittingly diminish their magic. Words, however eloquent, pale in comparison to the ineffable language of the soul. As Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wisely observed, the purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. And sometimes, living well means cherishing these sacred moments in the quiet chambers of our hearts, letting them nourish our souls and guide our journeys without seeking validation from the outside world. The Stoics believed in cultivating an inner landscape where virtue flourished and external circumstances held no sway. Our tranquility depends on things within our own control, writes Seneca, another prominent Stoic thinker. This doesn't mean disregarding the world around us. It simply means recognizing that our response to it, our interpretation of events, shapes our experience. Just as a skilled musician transforms silence into a symphony, a stoic mind learns to weave peace and meaning even from the discordant melodies of life. Consider the story of Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor who found solace and purpose in the depths of unimaginable suffering. In his book Man's Search for Meaning, he reminds us that everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, 
to choose one's attitude in any given circumstance. Frankel chose to find meaning in his pain, to see himself as a witness, a teacher, and ultimately, a survivor. His spiritual experience, born in the crucible of adversity, resonated not through loud proclamations, but through the quiet resilience of his spirit. This isn't a call to suppress your spiritual experiences or shroud them in secrecy. Rather, it's an invitation to let your faith be a silent flame, illuminating your path without requiring validation from others. Let your heart be the stage where the greatest dramas of your soul unfold, the audience comprised solely of you and the divine. It's in the quiet contemplation of these experiences that you find the strength to face challenges, the wisdom to make choices, and the compassion to embrace the world around you. Practicing Stoic Serenity Embrace solitude. Find moments of quiet within your day, even if it's just a few minutes. Turn off distractions, disconnect from the noise, and simply be present with yourself. Meditation or journaling can be valuable tools for cultivating inner peace. Reflect on your experiences. Take time to ponder the moments that move you, the whispers of the divine that touch your soul. What do they teach you about yourself and the world? How can you incorporate their lessons into your daily life? Live with authenticity. Let your inner light shine, not for the validation of others, but for the simple joy of expressing your true self. Act with integrity, speak with kindness, and let your actions be a testament to the values that resonate within you. Remember, the strength of your spiritual experiences lies not in the loudness of their expression, but in the depth of their impact on your soul. Let them be the silent compass that guides you through life, the wellspring of resilience that sustains you in times of hardship, and the source of unwavering faith that illuminates your path towards a life of virtue and purpose. Start today. Commit to one small act of stoicism, be it facing a challenge with fortitude, choosing kindness over anger, or finding gratitude in the midst of ordinary life. Share your experiences, not for validation, but to inspire others to stoically cultivate their own inner landscapes. Together, we can create a symphony of silent strength, a testament to the transformative power of the human spirit. So, breathe deeply, find your quiet corner, and listen to the whispers of your soul. The world may never know the full extent of your spiritual symphony, but the music that plays within your heart will be your greatest masterpiece. 7. Your Goals Unhatched have you ever held a tiny, fragile bird egg in your palm, feeling the warmth of life pulsing within, the wings still folded, the dream of flight yet unrealized? Our goals, our ambitions, often resemble those unhatched dreams. They shimmer in our minds, bursting with potential, yet vulnerable, needing the quiet incubation of focus and determination before they can take to the open sky. The chief task in life is simply this, identifying and separating matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Wisely observed Roman Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius. In the cacophony of opinions and expectations, Stoicism whispers a powerful truth. Some things lie beyond our control, the whispers of others, the doubts they may cast upon our fledgling dreams. But within our own minds, a fertile garden awaits where our goals can blossom, unburdened by external noise. Imagine sharing your nascent ambition, writing that novel, launching that business, scaling that mountain, before it has fully formed. The well-meaning advice, the cautionary tales, the premature critiques, they can act like a chilling wind, stunting the growth of your dream before it even sprouts its first brave leaf. Remember Michelangelo's David, trapped within the unyielding marble, waiting for the artist's chisel to reveal his majestic form. Your goals, too, reside within a rough-hewn block of possibility. Instead of chipping away under the judgmental gaze of the world, nurture them in the sanctuary of your own mind. Let them be whispered wishes, secret seedlings taking root in the silence of your focus. Nurturing the seedlings of ambition, meditations of might, Spend a few minutes each day in quiet contemplation. Visualize your goal, not as a distant mountain peak, 
but as a tiny seed pulsing with life. Feel the warmth of your determination, the gentle rain of your belief nourishing it. Watch it sprout, grow strong, take root in the fertile soil of your mind. The Journal of Whispers. Keep a dedicated journal for your unhatched goals. Write about them not as pronouncements, but as intimate aspirations. Pour your hopes, fears, and strategies onto the page, a safe space for your dreams to unfold without judgment. Embrace the inner architect. You are not merely a passive passenger in the journey of your goals. You are the architect, shaping the landscape of your aspirations. Read, research, learn, gather the skills and knowledge that will fuel your fledgling ambition. Quiet action speaks volumes. The power of small, consistent actions cannot be overstated. Break down your goal into manageable steps and take one unassuming step each day. These silent strides, unseen by the world, are the secret fuel that propels your dreams towards flight. Today, commit to one small act of stoicism. Whisper your goal, not in a public declaration, but to the fertile silence of your own mind. Nourish it with a mindful meditation, a scribbled wish in your journal, or a single focused step towards its realization. Remember, the most magnificent eagles begin as unhatched dreams, whispering their wings in the quiet garden of our hearts. Let your goals take flight, unburdened by the noise of the world, fueled by the silent fire of your unwavering focus. Share your stoic acts of goal nurturing in the comments below and let's inspire each other to hatch our dreams into a symphony of soaring realities. Remember, discretion is not about hiding. It's about choosing wisely what deserves to be seen. By guarding these seven treasures, you cultivate a sense of inner peace, strengthen your self-reliance, and create a space for genuine growth and transformation. Let your stoic silence be your superpower, the quiet strength that guides you towards a life of purpose, meaning, and authentic happiness. Thank you for watching. Please like this video. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload another video. Also, comment and share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. You are blessed.